hello and welcome back hope you're good doing well so we are having dollar yen update ahead of the non-farm payroll number so but before we get to look at that if anyone wants to join us looking for training just simply go to techtradingme.com or visit wave-trader.com all right now let's look at the dollar yen so uh, this is going to be the update of these previous uh, dollar yen charts all right so we were expecting dollar yen to dollar to drop yeah but the 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 reason why we are still having some strength on the dollar against the yen the sim the reason is very much simple so so we know that the bank of japan is still buying you know bonds yeah they bought a bond with two 200 billion all right uh, i mean two billion all right 300 billion yen and uh, two bi two billion dollar uh, worth of bonds japanese bond and um, they did that uh, twice in the week unscheduled bomb buying and another thing was the fitch just downgraded the us sovereign rating from uh, AAA to double a which has caused uh, the dollar to stay strong and it risk on assets to 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 drop all right so what we are having today is none from payroll numbers nfp and uh, as we know that uh, fed wants nfp to slow down all right they want uh, labor market to 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 slow down so that uh, code inflation can come down <clears throat> so nfp so none for payroll numbers are going to be really important for the market so you know uh what what you know what fed is fed is expecting fed is expecting that uh, this to slow down okay and if we're going to look at the trend right the trend this trend the trend is also slowing down we can see over there it's you know i mean um, uh, a drop is slowing down here unemployment rate is just as uh, you know uh, at exactly at uh, the same level where it was before the the march 2020 yeah so fed want this to tick higher so similarly this chart all right this to drop below you know this average 200 so at the average you know it's stuck over there so i'm gonna look at this so more up we can see there that the the this is these are the 200 and uh, 150 are the average numbers uh, monthly yeah so these numbers to fall below 100 or no no you know you know change at all yeah so drop drop below drop below uh, below 50 right or 100 drop below these the, these average numbers so, so that's that's going to be a, a, a you know a sign that the, the labor market is slowing down so uh this to drop too yeah so the average early earnings are, are going to be important too so uh very important job every every you know none from payroll every nfp report is very important all right every month the reason is that uh, the fed is watching uh, that very very closely and uh, the, the future rate is going to be based on that future policy uh, you know uh, uh, Fed policy the scene is going to be based on the none from payroll reports so uh, that's the that, that 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 you know that's what you are watching okay the 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 report to slow down and the and the other thing why we are still hanging why dollar yen is still hanging over there is the question why it's not you know uh why it's still hanging over there we were expecting it to fall and continue why it's you know showing so much price action over there and why not uh, giving us a strong sell-off like we have seen on uh you know like australian dollar and uh, yen if i'm gonna pull out this chart yeah and if i'm gonna go to the four hour time frame we can see over there the move is you know uh, the uzi yen has removed all its gains over there but this is still hanging over there so none from payroll number report going to be important today so we may see sell off on the dollar all right and uh, the, 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 let's look at the reason why that that's not uh, you know uh, dropping so if i'm, if I'm gonna look at the japanese 10-year yield and gonna you know uh, open the u.s 10-year yield this is basically the reason right now the the dollar yen is still hanging over at the top all right so uh, daily gonna be all right so daily gonna be all right here too so both are rising at the same time after the week from the bank of japan all right so bank of japan tweaked there 
right? And yield went up from 50 to 65, all right? Tweaked, right? This should be a strong, aggressive, you know, uh, this move should give stronger, aggressive move on the yen, but that didn't happen. Well, what happened, right? At the same time, which downgraded the, the, the US credit rating, which caused the longer term yield to push higher too. So both are rising at the same time. Both yields are rising at the same time, which is offsetting the strength on the the yen at the moment, all right? So I'm going to look at this exact timing. Okay, there. There we can see. So we have seen some, you know, uh, weaknesses over there, a correction, all right? Uh, at the same time when they tweaked. But after, after that, we have seen almost uh, with similar basis point, rise more 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 on the u.s can you yield okay so if i'm gonna look at this so we have seen you know a 15 basis point high, you know rise but at the same time we have seen you know 20 20 basis point you know rise on the on the u.s 10 year yield okay this is basically offsetting the strength on the yen against the dollar right so that's not letting the dollar yen to drop so so what we are expecting yeah so this is basically the opportunity for longer term investors definitely they're going to jump in so so the fitch uh, you know uh, rating fitch downgraded the us rating caused the longer term you know uh, the the big player big investor to force selling their bond holdings which caused that move to happen so so this is going to be a definitely a buy opportunity for uh, you know big players because you know 10 year yields yield is at a good spot to jump in for longer term investors so we may see stronger sell off on the 10 year yield at, at any time yeah but we're not going to see stronger sell off at any time here on the japanese bond japanese bond is just simply set to continue to keep rising up to 1% all right which is a good sign for the for the for the yen over time all right and there is where we are looking for the move to happen okay so again bad numbers bad not nfp numbers you go down break down aggressively this correction all right break down you look in breakdown correct and continue to keep dragging lower this area or further downside so if you're not going to see bad numbers okay simply another leg higher yeah which can test that top or or new high new recent high within this channel can form over there right so if i'm gonna look at the lower time frame okay so nfp numbers to be bad and you are looking this to break down aggressive this move so just copy paste that candle there let me copy and paste that candle there okay so bad numbers okay and you break down and continue to keep dragging lower so if you're not gonna get that you know bad nfp numbers and port is going to be really good all right and going to give us strength again then simply another leg higher okay another leg higher yeah test that top or new high within this channel yeah, and then again give us a price action for short term sell opportunity within that channel for this and as long as price going to stay within that channel you're looking you know this is this is pre you know uh we are you know you know we i mean uh, we may not see that channel okay but in case if that is going to appear over there so we'll look for a higher high within that channel and we'll start looking for you know drop from those highs but we still can see another leg okay this this is a, this seems a correction which still can push up back to that top or new high so you're looking for breakout for both direction during the non from payroll numbers okay strong breakout is come over there put stop behind it shot them one more yeah, if we're gonna see a short breakdown, all right, short breakdown is coming. Stop and and uh, and looking for this to continue to keep regular lower. So as long as you know breakout is strong for either direction, all right, you're staying in the market. If breakout is not going to continue, just get out, all right. Just don't don't stay into that trade. Just get out and and uh, let the market, you know, uh, 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 you know, become clear for later on, all right. So if I'm gonna, uh, you know, draw a couple of arrows over there this is a bigger arrow so i'm gonna draw that arrow i have to convert that trend line into arrow All right so this is what this structure gonna be this is a bigger longer term 
right so this is what you are looking here we still can see another leg higher guys all right so this direction still can break up for another leg higher like that okay so hope that makes sense and you got the idea that what you are looking for on the dollar yen all right thank you